Hi everybody, welcome to Accessorize Your Life. I'm Julia. Well, I'm back with another Shop My Stash and this one is for February 2024. Guys, February is a little month, which we know, not many days, but it is jam-packed with things to celebrate. I mean, let me put my glasses on and let you know what I found. Of course, we know that it's Black History Month and Valentine's Day, President's Day, but it's also American Heart Month, which is really important. And a few other important things to celebrate is National Children's Dental Month, and it's also Self-Check Awareness Month, like for prostate cancer, uh, rectal cancer, and breast cancer, things like that. There's a lot more. Just be aware and, you know, schedule those appointments like I'm trying to do. Also, uh, it's Organ Donor Month or Day, which falls on Valentine's Day, which is the 14th. There's Mardi Gras, President's Day, where I probably said Ash Wednesday, National Margarita Day, that's February 22nd. Super Bowl, February 11th. Valentine's Day, where you celebrate your girls, um, girlfriends, that is, um, the 13th. I believe and there's Lunar New Year that is February 10th and some funny ones oh don't forget Groundhog's Day that's tomorrow February 2nd so some funny ones are National Toothache Day February 9th <laughs> take care of those teeth and National Chocolate Day that's a yummy one so any which way you look at it there's something to recognize or celebrate this month and uh, you got to get it all in because it's not a very long month but what I want to do with this shop, my stash, is um, shop for things that um, are related to a look I saw, a campaign look from Armani. So basically, I'm just going to shop for Armani. What I like to do is use the foundation I pull, the primer, the basics, the foundations of a look for the whole month for sure. And what I'll bring in during the month now are some eyeshadow palettes, maybe some different blushes, some things like that, just to accent or accessorize the look that I want or looks I want to create for various themes when I'm doing collabs or just looks I want to bring you. But yeah, I'm getting back to my roots, getting back to shopping, my stash, and I want to talk about this campaign before I get into reviewing what's in my tray already. This campaign is from Armani, what I, which I said, and it's called the Sunset Glow Look. So Armani came up with this look that I want to show you a little later that uh, to them represents a sunset glowy look. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do my best to recreate that look for you here. But like I said, before I do that, create the look and shop my stash, I want to review what I used for the last couple of months. I've been just hanging with these products. So let's take a look. So guys, I'm filming this with my phone camera and you're looking at my makeup tray here. And these are the things I've been using, like I said, for the last couple of months. For work, I've been into this little inexpensive palette from Beauty Concepts. This is the um, Sweet Tooth or Sweet Treat eyeshadow palette. It has 18 shades and I only use maybe like one shade out of here. Can you guess which one it is? Look at that. Look at that. Really? I've hit pan on it. But yeah, that's a cute little palette and it's my second one. And I have a tray that I'm going to be putting everything into eventually. Um, of course, you saw me um, show you this palette here from Guerlain. This is a dazzling palette. If I can get it open with one hand. Here is the palette. And as you can see, I've been using it. I love these colors. I love that plum. That peachy shade is pretty too. The greens, like an emerald green almost. That yellowy gold, I've used all of those colors. Th thoroughly enjoyed this palette. Well worth the money to me. And I also pulled in another Guerlain palette. This one is, what is it? Ombre G, that's the formula. It's 24 Exotic Orchid. So let me open it up so you can see it. This one's easier because I found a way to do it. Look at those kind of neutral, kind of... Uh, Nice everyday colors, but you definitely could get an evening out look with these colors as well. So 
gonna put that back as well. I pulled in um, a face powder from Kosas. You've seen me use it. I like to finish up under my eyes with it or even all over my face. So this is a nice powder for me. I think it's kind of hydrating. I like it for this time of the year, fall and winter. And if you're wondering, I have it softly cloud set. Alrighty, still going with the camera here. I pulled in my Danessa Myricks. This is the uh, Yummy Skin with Obsolete. I really like this for going under my eyes. I have it in number nine. You all know what that looks like. I'm going to keep in my Natasha Denona Contouring Sculpting Powder, I believe, because I just want to use it as much as I can. I did have my Guerlain Terracotta uh, powder here in deep. This is a matte powder. I really like Guerlain powders so far. I haven't had any issues with them. They're not um, they're not thick. They're not uh, they're fine. So they're perfect for uh, setting your face and you can go under your eyes with this as well. That's what mine is looking like. I think it's uh, getting to the end of its life kind of sort of but I'm going to uh, still keep it. I'm going to leave in, sorry for the noise, my um, Marvel Studios Times Mac Black Panther highlighter. And uh, I'm really enjoying this. Just a touch of it. I don't need much, but it's in Royal Vibrancy. So I'm going to leave that in. As you know, those things were in my, um, what was it, Wakanda Forever Panning Project. Yeah, so I'm leaving those in. Alrighty, so let's get to the lippies, which are right here. I have this lippy from Guerlain, which I showed you over the holidays. I don't know if I can get in it with one hand. I didn't think about this before I filmed. Okay, so you just pull that up and you get in here. This is a pretty color. Sort of a plummy color, but it just looks more red when I wear it. But I really like it now. I've grown to really like it. Because I was expecting more of a plum color. This is the case. Remember how you open it up. And there in the corner, if you can see that, is my name that was engraved in for free. I really like that. And two other lipsticks I have here are from Dior. They're the Dior Riffic Lip Line. And I have them in shade... Let's see, this one is 074, that's sort of a peachy light color. And then I have it in 077, which is the plummy color, which I just adore. And then I have another lippy here that I was using some. You've seen this. This was also in my um, Wakanda panning project, which I didn't finish. This is Louis Vuitton. This is their nice, satiny, smooth matte lipstick in Zulu with the red cap on the inside. I really like it. Um, what else do I have here? I did pull the It Bye Bye under eye cream, which I forgot was even in here. I probably used it once or twice. I used this L'Oreal. This is a Lumineer uh, lip gloss. It's uh, kind of uh, shifting in color. Galaxy Lumineer lip gloss, it says. Uh, just the, as a topper give some shine to my matte lips and I'll keep in my um, brow pencil and my eyeliner pencil which is a must two brow pencils actually and then um, I have Juvia's Place eye primer and then this one which I broke the cap off NYX um, glitter glue I need to get another one or eye primer helps those sparkly shadows stay put as you well know. And then over here, oh, these are my sharpeners, one from Dior. I don't know if this is the Pat McGrath one or not. I don't think so. So I don't know which one they, this one is, but this is the Dior one I just keep right here. I have two powders, a well, one powder and a blush from uh, Givenchy. So this is the um, self-correcting powder here, Prism Libre. I have it in number six. And you see it has all of these different shades that once combined, help your complexion a lot in my opinion and then the blush i pulled as well from that line and i have the blush in number six as well okay and it does the same thing it has several shades of blush in here that when combined together give you a beautiful blush look and then 
my foundation for the month or a couple of months, December and January, was uh, Guerlain's L Essential here. This is a lovely foundation in my opinion. It doesn't um, get rid of texture on your face or blur the texture, I should say, but it does has, have SPF 20. And let's see if I can get it in focus. And it um, is a natural glow. So it's a nice foundation in my opinion. The color is spot on for me. I've had this for a few years now, so I know it's time to let it go. I did look online to see if I could find another one to replace this. I have it in, what is it, 055 Warm, and they do not have it in my shade, So, uh, and they only have one left to it, Nordstrom, so I have to look some on some other sites, but I really do like that foundation. As I said, I definitely need to um, use the primer first. Let me tell you about that from a gear line, the L Essential Primer, which is supposed to help with texture and pores. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it's nice for the face. I really like it. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. But what I do is I put that primer on and then I go in with the powder while the primer is uh, damp on my face and set that primer. And that gives me a um, smoother canvas to work with. And then I can go in with my foundation. I don't only do this do that for Guerlain. I do that for most of my foundation since I have very textured skin. Now going into my primers, I have the Born to Glow, which I have lightened certain areas of my face with, as well as the Super Stay by Maybelline. And this is in 50, the Maybelline is. And this Born to Glow by NYX is in, I think it's in, let's see, it says here. Cap cappuccino. So this is like the middle shade. I have three of these and this one falls in the middle. So cappuccino. But my favorite one is from Christian Dior. It's the Forever Skin Corrector and I have it in 5N. This is my under eye corrector that I truly, truly like using. Now, most of these things here are staples in my tray, but I will be pulling out and putting away the Gwen um, or Give um, mascara and the correct name of this is Can't Stop Staring. It's a mascara so I'm going to put that away and I'm also going to put away the Amy Cole mascara. I like this one but it's quite wet whereas the uh, Give one is um, not so wet, but it has that neat little round ball on the tip of the wand that helps you get into the inner corner. So I do like that about it. I'm gonna leave in my Juvia's Place brow gels and this other brow gel here by BDB. And here I have my, um, here are the brow gels, uh, brow gels in case I wasn't in focus. And here I have my lash, um, liners which are slash glues as well and i have two lip pencils from sephora here so the molasses and then this one is which i like using this one is dark horse so and some brushes there and uh, yeah so now that i've gone through everything for those of you who had asked what my foundation was and what my um corrector was here you go. This is what I've been using for the whole month to do all of the looks that I presented to you. Not so much the eyeshadows, but the base is right here. The base is right there along with the Givenchy. So now I want to get into shopping my stash for the Giorgio Armani uh, Sun Glow look. So yeah, hang tight. Here we are with my tub of um, Shop My Stash items that I'm going to put away. So let's get busy doing that. Let's get in the foundation drawer and put in the Guerlain because I won't need that any longer. And did I have a primer? Mm, yeah, I did have a primer, so that goes back there. And the Dior corrector goes there. Anything else from here? No, but while I'm here, I want to pull out my Giorgio Armani foundation. I do have this luminous silk perfect glow 
flawless foundation card here with a few shades to sample. This is the actual foundation they mentioned in the campaign. I don't have that one, but I do have the Fabric Plus. So I will be using the Fabric Plus, but I'll take a look at that one. Wow, these Armani blushes right here. Shopping my stash for all three of these. I'm not gonna use this one. I'll leave this in. So I have those products from Armani. In the next drawer, I have some pencils and liquid liners and things like that. I don't think I have anything to go in this drawer, but I'm definitely pulling some things from this drawer. For instance, I'm going to pull all of these for now. These are the liquid eyeshadows from Armani. I'm gonna pull all of them to see which one I want to uh, use. And then also I'm going to look for a pencil from Armani. It's right here. That's a liner. And let's see if I have a mascara. I have some mascaras back here. Dior, YS Gucci, YSL. Let's see, I thought I had a Tom Ford there, not what I want. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Trish McAvoy, no. This is, uh, I want the Mastro one. I'll pull them both and figure out which is which later. But that's what I've pulled so far. That's a lot, guys. This is a lippy drawer here. So I have some lippies to put back in here. No? Yes, one. Because the other ones go somewhere else. This one will go back. And I have all of these lip glosses and a sample card that Mastro, which I'll pull from Armani, Gucci. Uh, oh, this is one I want from Armani. And then let's pull all of these and see if I'm gonna keep in, use any of these. Not the Trish McAvoy, but let's see all of these Armani lippies. Oh my gosh, will I be able to get them in here? This is a lot, guys. Now, what else do I have in here to put away? These two lippies from Dior. So they're gonna go up here where I keep a few Dior things, right up here with a Dior polish and perfume. It's a little collection I have up here on a shelf that I like from Dior. So yeah, maybe over here, yes. These two concealers, not this drawer, not that drawer, right here. So we'll just put these right in here. And here are my other NYX Born to Glow concealers right here. Okay, so what do we have left? Oh, this one. Bye bye, it bye bye, under eye concealer. A Kosas powder. Let's get that put away right there with the other powders. And this uh, lip gloss can go right in here in this drawer with other lip glosses. Okay, now I can load this up minus these mascaras with all of this Armani stuff. That's a lot. So I'm back at the vanity. I've pulled everything, set it out before me, and I did add one additional thing. It's the Jackie Anna palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I figured that this would be a great neutral or everyday palette for me to uh, have colors in to uh, work with during the weeks coming. So uh, that's going to be in my tray. But I am going to um, try to emulate this look with the products I have. I may not have all of the correct products that they're using in this Sunset Glow look, but I'm gonna show you a picture here on my phone and I hope to blow it up and give you a full view of it for your viewing pleasure. But this is the project or campaign. It says, get a useful glow with the bronze eye and iconic red lips. 
So they use about, I say two, four, six products and they created this look and um, I have, I think, something from each line of what they offer here. This look is worth a total of, with the current sale, $246.80. Normally it's $254 uh, to get this look with these items. So the first item they pulled was the Luminous Silk Foundation. I don't own that foundation, but I do have a sample here of it. Um, I have actually the Power um, Fabric Plus foundation from um, Armani. So I'm not sure uh, for the look which one I'll use. I think I'll go with the one I have because I like that one. And they have for this look the Lip Power Longwear Satin Lipstick and they have it in Crasia. Yes, it's kind of a red. I don't have that one, but I have my Lip Power in number 504 and I'll show it to you. It's a deep kind of red here. So that's what I will be using on my lips. And next they have the Luminous Silk Glow Blush in Mania. I have three Armani blushes. This one looks like it's more of a um, rosy tone. And the first one I have here is a um, number 45 it's a neo nude and it's kind of a it's a, it is it is a cream blush that looks kind of coral orangey and then the other one looks orangey coral too in number 30 but a little less so nothing quite as um, let me get back into this um, page here nothing quite as mauvey as that one well, maybe this one is not as mauve but I'll probably use this one for the look. And then they have the Smooth Silk Eye Pencil in 01. I think it's, oh no, it's number four. And I have it in number four as well. So that's the eye pencil I will be using. It's a black. And the nice thing about it, it has this nice smudger on the other end. So we'll be using that. And then the next product is the eye tint liquid eyeshadow. I have about two, four, six, eight of these, and they use one called number 26 Flame. I do not have that one, but I will be working with number 54, and it's more of a coral look, similar to what they used in that eye look. And the last thing that I do have that they used is called. Eyes to Kill Classical um, Mascara, and this is the one. I do have that one, and it is in number one black, and that's just what I have. And this is what the wand looks like. So, let's get busy creating this look from Armani. And the cool thing, if you go on the site, uh, wait, before I get started, but if you go on the site, they'll give you instructions for how to place everything and where to place it right here. So there are instructions. But I wanna quickly say I did pull a few things to prep my skin with, and so Armani suggested we use the Crema Nera. Um, this is a um, setting or face serum for the face, so I'm going to use that to start. And they also recommended an eye treatment, which I don't have, I already have on my eye cream. Um, I don't want this go back and the last thing they recommended was this um, cream Nera crema Nera this is a light reviving cream for the face and I have samples of all of this that I purchased before so I'm going to get started with this look hopefully we can get this done and it won't take too long I think that so I have nothing on my skin I washed it only the eye cream so and I'm going to um, do what I usually do here, put a little powder under or over my primer. So I do have the Armani powder. They didn't mention that in the um, campaign, but I do have an Ar Armani powder and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna use that all over my face just to help 
in the pore area. And next I'm going into the moisturizer. I should have put that on already, right? Mm, I'll just put it around my eyes. Went out of step. <laughs> and we'll let that sit. We'll go into the foundation. And as you can see, I'm dabbing it in. So this is going into my makeup tray. I'm going to apply this makeup the way they do it. So they said apply the foundation. And then they say use the Silk Glow Blush. So this is the one I'm using. I'm going to go in with my finger. Ooh, it comes out pretty up here. I think it wants us to go just about here. That's what I'm gathering. And I'm starting to see that right here. Yeah, I got it together. I'm getting it. I see a little bit of this color. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to leave it as is for now. And next we're going to go in with the eye tint. and say, They say shade 26. And put it on the eyelid and blend outwards using fingertips or a blender brush. Just start maybe on the inner eye. My eyelids and then blend outward. This phone doesn't stop. Get some below. I like that. Okay, so I'm to go in with the eyeliner. Okay, it's a little taxing trying to get it over the shadow. But yeah, I see it there. And next, intensify the look by adding Eyes to Kill Classico Mascara. And then it will be the lippy. So here's the Classico Mascara. This is good. And this is a pretty mascara. So I like that. That's going in for sure. Yeah. Okay, next is the lippy. And it says to... Um, finish the look by adding Lip Power in shade... Zero 02 in a dabbing technique to get a tint of color to get a fully defined lip use the pointed applicator and define the lips starting from the cupid's bow and create the desired shape i don't want such an intense look so we will just go in as much as possible like this I do not have a lip pencil, but I do like this color. That's going in my tray. And what I want to do with this eye look here is pull in my Jackie Aina palette and see what colors complement it or are they nearly the same. So edges and ginger and maybe even Wiggle ease. Wiggle ease may work to uh, just cover this eyeshadow where it's skimping, you know, the most. Actually, Wiggle Lease is probably the best one. But I'll have a little bit of edges on there too. Let's get some. Uh... It's not doing too bad once it's dried, but I'm definitely just going in with a little bit of this. just to fill it in and you notice I didn't do my usual outer corner so I'm going to just do a little bit of uh, credit that deep color there right in that area where I normally put a little shadow and see how it works out this is how I would normally do it now Armani made their suggestion but I'm just adding a little bit to it just because I like to how many of you still have your Jackie Anna palette I even ran across someone's channel where they bought a backup you know many of you may have done that I remember buying two but I gave one away as a uh, Christmas gift I think I like this a lot. I like this Armani look. It's a little different for me. Color there to balance the color I already have there. Yeah. I'll put another picture up. I'll do a side by side if I can so that you can see. 
I could use a little more blush in my opinion. So I'm going to try to pull out my a brush and see if it will pick up that any more of that blush. Ooh, on the brush, you see what it looks like? So it's not too far off. Yeah, this is what they wanted me to do. Mm-hmm. The brush is doing it. Okay, tell me what you think of this look. This is my Sunset Glow look inspired by Armani's campaign that's up on their site currently that they're using a model for as well. Guys, thank you for watching this month's Shop My Stash and tell me if any of those holidays that you're aware of that you're going to actually, you know, do something with in your life. That margarita one sound really good to me. <laughs> But uh, no, because I'm still fasting and I don't want to bring anything like that into the mix. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think of the holidays. Tell me what you think of this Armani look. It's the sunset uh, glow look. I guess the glow is in the eyes. <laughs> and uh, tell me what you think of the products I pulled. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.